Tonight we discuss one of the most debilitating and deadliest neurological diseases. But groundbreaking research and some of it happening right here in North Texas could lead to clues and a cure for ALS and other diseases. And as our Brooke Rogers found out, this is in large part due to the efforts of one local man we'd like you to meet. Almost exactly three years ago, a simple observation turned Peter Warlick's world upside down. I noticed that I was having some movement in my legs, twitching of muscles, and ultimately was diagnosed in August of 2015 with ALS. The American Airlines executive, husband and father of two, was 50 years old, facing a fatal disease with no cure. I started to really contemplate, you know, what could I do? And um, I began to do a lot of research into different organizations um, in the United States that are focused on, on uh, ALS. He landed on Answer ALS, a research program and clinical trial founded after former NFL player Steve Gleason's ALS diagnosis. We're working across many different institutions uh, to attack the same question. And the question is, what causes ALS? To be frank, we don't know. Dr. Svensson, a professor at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center and the co-director of Answer ALS, says a revolutionary technique is providing promise. So we're making what are called motor neurons. Uh, those are the neurons that die and make you paralyzed. And by creating patients' motor neurons, we can understand more about what causes a disease. And not just ALS, other neurological diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's could also benefit from the findings. Dallas's Texas Neurology recently joined the team. This is the biggest, most comprehensive ALS basic science and clinical research study ever done. To be part of this is just such an honor. For Peter Warlick, parlaying fear into funds was the best way to cope. So he started Warlick's Warriors, and his company, American Airlines, immediately contributed a million dollars. I was just struck by um, the strength he had um, and you know his optimism, even not so much about um, perhaps how, 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 what it might mean for him, but what he could do for others. They are on track to surpass their $5 million goal by the end of the year. Money Warlick believes will change history. And in a way, um, for me, there's some hope. Um, but for others, I think there's a lot of hope that the future will be different than what the past has been. The support for Warlick's Warriors now spans much of the aviation industry. Boeing, FedEx, and even American's competitor, United Airlines, are among the nearly 25 companies that have donated. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News. Brooke,